blah 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 new free plugin. Instantify is a workflow plugin and allows you to find all objects that have the same identical topology and uh, use one of the objects while converting all the others to render instances. Now this can happen either by design or some sort of oversight or a mistake. Let me give you an example of uh, a mistake. So we have these six unique objects. I got them from the asset manager and uh, what I'm going to do is uh, grab these and I'm going to make some copies underneath and move them to the side, make some more copies and move them to the side and then maybe get all these and uh, move them to the side. I'm making copies here as uh, you've realized already. So in this particular case we have identical objects. Um, some of them may be scaled but not scaled using the model mode because that will scale the points but in the case that we're scaling the actual axes. If I go to the object mode that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm changing the axes of the object. You can see that the XYZ is changing and I can even go and rotate it. So I have at least one of these, uh, maybe two, which is uh, rotated and has some scale. And again I'm not talking about point scale. I'm talking about the actual axes of the object. Now in this particular case our scene is unnecessarily heavy because we have uh, identical objects uh, which uh, have their topology referenced many times in this scene. So the easiest way to go about it is let's say let's find the nut here. Select the nut and go and run the instancify. Now I can always go and uh, bring up the cogwheel to turn them into render instances or normal instances. So I'm going to go with render instances for no apparent reason. I'm going to press OK and what it does, it goes through every single point and finds objects that number one have the same number of points and number two the points are within one ten thousandth of a centimeter at the same position relative to that axis. So we've converted all those into render instances and now they got the name of the object you originally selected and it added the underscore instance at the end so you know that they're instances. Now the great thing about the way the plugin works is that you don't need to find every individual object. All you have to do is press command A and run the plugin, go extensions, run it and it will do everything for you and replace the names and so forth. Even find the objects that have the scaling and uh, this particular one you can see it has 1.8 because it happened to be the first one in the hierarchy but all the other flat screw ones uh, they actually retain the original scaling and that's because internally all the points are set at the actual values and then the scaling over here in the coordinates gets multiplied afterwards. Now let me show you a real world scene. It's not real world but uh, that's what I call it. Here we have a bunch of screws, again the same screws but in a box and uh, we also have one of the screws with a bend deformer and we also have a bunch of these screws under a cloner and let's see if that's going to work. I'm not going to bother to find out which ones they are. The first object in the hierarchy of each type is going to be the one that's going to be referenced. So I'm just going to select all and I'm going to go and run my instancify and uh, purposefully I'm actually going to turn on render instances again. Now when I press this again it takes a couple of seconds to go through all the objects. If I zoom in here you will see that this screw over here lost its bend deformer because it's a render instance. So just find it, there you go, and just change it into a normal instance and there you go. That's all you have to do. And even the objects that are referenced under the cloner have been changed to an instance. So let's go and press render, see that everything is visible and everything is visible and everything works. And that's just about it. If you happen to hit a bug or something like that, always provide your feedback on Twitter and leave some nice comments in the comments section below. Any more information, updates and so forth will predominantly be posted on Twitter. 
if you have any questions about the plugin or if you find a bug, please inform me on Twitter or post a nice little comment under this video. I hope you enjoy this uh, free plugin and uh, it improves your workflow. So don't forget to share, like, subscribe, comment and ring the notification bell because all this stuff feeds the algorithm and makes my video available to more people. See you in the next one.